Council's Daniel Schwamenthal. He's the director of the AJC Transatlantic Institute, which seeks to foster relationships between the United States, the European Union, and Israel. Welcome, sir. Can you hear me? Thank you very much for having me on your show. Oh, thank you for being here. Do you think that yes, Benjamin I can hear you. Oh, good. Do you think that Benjamin Netanyahu Thank is you, right? Should Jews leave the country and go to Israel? Look, at the end of the day, uh, this decision will be decided by facts on the ground, uh, which will lead to very personal decisions. Uh, is it going to be safe enough for Jews to live here? Uh, and every Jewish family will have to make the decision uh, themselves. And neither the statements by the Israeli Prime Minister nor by the Danish Prime Minister as much as uh, I welcome her statements, will in the end be effective. The question is, is it going to be safe to be a Jew in Europe? I talked with the rabbi at the synagogue that came under attack. He says that um, he's going to put in bulletproof doors and, and other added security measures. Is it that unsafe there for Jews? Look, uh, since 2012, 13 Jews have been murdered by uh, Islamist terrorists, starting in 2012 in Toulouse, three Jewish children and a parent. Last year in Brussels, we had the Paris attacks. Yesterday, Copenhagen. It is indeed uh, that dangerous, and this is not just a personal assessment. This is the assessment of the security services in Europe. Uh, put yourself in the shoes of a Jewish parent uh, walking the children to a school that has to be guarded by policemen and now these days in Belgium and in France by soldiers. And this is not because of paranoia, this is because of what Belgian, French and other European security services think is necessary. What should the government do? Look, um, at the very least what we need here at the EU level is a, a really high level conference on the problem of anti-Semitism and a task force that really comes up with an action plan and implement it. We need to uh, take on uh, radicalization, Islamic radicalization, in a much more coherent and profound way. We need to cut off the funding that still comes in from Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and other countries to indoctrinate and brainwash the minds of young Muslims uh, in Europe. Uh, we need to also speak openly about the problem. Too much, we, uh, we still you know, are too politically to correct to um, really name the problem, which is on the one hand radical Islam, but on the other hand also a widespread anti-Semitism um, among the Muslim community or segment of the com Muslim community, but also uh, within the population uh, at large. These are some, just some of the steps that we need to take urgently. All right, Daniel Schwabenthal, thank you so much for joining me this morning. I appreciate it.